welcome to Reviews That Scare with Jess and Blair. I'm Jess. I'm Blair. Blair, how are you? I'm doing good, man. Yourself? I am doing very well. We are flying through the month of October, and this is a big, big week for us. It is. We've got Deadmonton, mm-hmm. and Dark. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither, man. Um, it'll be fun. It'll be a great weekend. And also, we've officially reached our third episode of the month. Today, we're doing... Uh, sorry, today, we're going a bit outside of the box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but we're talking about a holiday classic. And before we do that, what do you say we chat a little bit about some horror news? This is horror news. Blairski, you got any horror news? Uh, the first teaser trailer dropped for The Strangers Chapter 2. Okay. Uh, have you had a chance to see that yet or anything? I haven't. Uh, it looks it looks all right. It's um it shows all the killers, man. Like without their masks on. Really? That's what it seems to be. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It yeah, it's kind of weird. It shows um the girl, I think it's the girl at from the first one in a car. Um, surrounded by three people and it just shows all their faces and they're all looking at her and then the masks flash on their faces and that's basically it. That's the teaser trailer. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. (laughs) Mm. I'm a big fan of the Strangers movies. I'm hoping this one is better than Chapter 1, which was basically just like a shitty remake of the very first Strangers movie. But the promotional lead up to it was massive. It was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. I was stoked for it. I was really yeah. excited for it. Kind of let me down. So I, I'm hoping chapter two is a little better. Only time um, will tell. Only time will tell. Jesse, you love Spirit Halloween. I do. I do. I haven't been there yet uh, this year. You haven't been? Not I once? haven't been. Jesse, no. uh, Maybe this weekend. You never okay, know. You got it. Halloween's getting close. Man. I know. I got to get my costume. <laughs> uh, red M M&M. and M. That's right. Um, <laughs> Orange M and M. Spirit Halloween is branching out for the first time and opening their very first Spirit Christmas pop up stores <laughs> this <laughs> year, man. Yeah, this year. Um, they're they're in test run phase, so they're only opening ten Spirit christmas stores um in the northeast usa so i'm imagining like new jersey new york Mm. area but yeah that's kind of interesting we'll see if that takes off what is what's it gonna be it's just no (laughs) only time will tell yeah oh man okay (laughs) rock and roll finally uh vhs beyond just came out i watched it already i'm not sure if you've had a chance to but it was a lot of fun um they've already announced vhs 8 yeah. I'm next year, so I'm already looking forward to that. Keep pumping them out. Yeah. yeah. People like them. It's a, it's a movie I look forward to every year, VHS. Absolutely. So. Yeah. All hail Ratma. All hail Ratma. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a couple here. The newest film in the Alien franchise, Alien Romulus, is getting something very cool. Mm-hmm. 20th Century Studios is releasing the film on VHS. Mm-hmm. How cool is that? Do you have a VHS player, Jesse? Um, I don't have one here, but my wife's family, um, has a, has a cabin and they have a VHS or a VCR at the cabin. So I might have to get it for the cabin, man. Man, you know, it's crazy how rare they are these days. I have one, but uh, they're going to, they're going to come back like the record players. Yeah. They're going to come back. Yeah, they will. (laughs) That's pretty Um, cool though. Oh, absolutely. It's going to be a limited release will be available starting December 3rd. The perfect Christmas gift, perhaps? Mm. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Please. Um, (laughs) Also, it was recently announced that Universal Studios was working on a theme park focused solely on their monsters, and we officially have an opening date, May 2025. Okay. It'll be called Dark Universe and will be one of five worlds housed inside Universal Studios. I believe this is going to just be Universal Orlando to begin with. Okay. Still very cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, and yeah. then lastly, I didn't write this down, but we finally have a Phasmophobia release date. Oh, 
Uh, for more <laughs> for more information on that, I turn it over to Blair. Uh, yeah, uh, it is coming out on consoles finally, October twenty ninth. It's yeah. the twenty first today, so eight days from now. What are they calling it? Early access. Well, it's been they are, but it's been called early access since it's been early access. Early access to me <laughs> means not finished. Um, it's it's finished. It's it's it's. I don't know. I haven't seen the console version yet. Blair, I've been it's playing early it. access. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll try to defend you fast, but I'll try it. Hey, and I'm I, for somebody who shits on it quite a bit. I am very excited to play it. I, I um, think we're going to have a lot of fun together. Playing absolutely. That game, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Let's chat about this week's film. Shall we? Yes. Yes. Today we will be chatting about 1966's. It's the great pumpkin. Charlie Brown <laughs> runtime on this one. 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. I believe that holds the record for shortest movie we've reviewed on the pod. A hundred percent it is, yeah. Blairsky, <laughs> initial thoughts on the runtime. Yeah, if anything, yeah, way longer, or longer anyway, for sure. Uh, honestly, yeah, that's yeah. what I will get into it, <laughs> likes and dislikes, but it needs, I would have been happy with 45 minutes. I was just thinking 45 minutes would be perfect. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's chat about some fun facts. Fun facts. Facts that are fun. Larsky, you got some fun facts for It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown? This is the third Peanuts special and the second holiday-themed special ever made. The first one, of course, being Charlie Brown's Christmas. Yeah. Um, it aired on broadcast television every year from its in its debut from 1966 all the way up to 2020 until Apple Plus bought it out. Thanks a lot, Apple Plus. <laughs> Apparently, they do play it for free for one weekend. I think it's maybe this next weekend. I'm not too sure, but. They killed an annual tradition. They did, but not many people use cable anymore. I suppose. <laughs> I watched it on Apple Plus. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, the budget for this was $76,000. Wow. In 1960s, man. So that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of money, especially yeah. for a 25-minute special. Yeah. Um. Finally, the great pumpkin Charlie Brown actually helped define a brand new genre in television. Because before that, no shows ever really did Halloween specials. Oh, cool. It was one of the first shows ever to do like a Halloween special. And because of its popularity, it spawned other shows to make Halloween specials. So it kind of spawned the Halloween special, which is very cool. cool. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Um, I got a couple here. The original working title was Big Pumpkin Charlie Brown. <laughs> Big Pumpkin Charlie Brown. <laughs> and then lastly, the uh, famous or infamous Lucy pulling the football away from Charlie Brown that we all know so well mm -hmm. was animated for the first time for this TV movie. Really? That's what I read That's on the internet. Awesome. And the internet <laughs> never lies. Nope, no. Nope. <laughs> Believe okay. everything. Yeah. Let's <laughs> talk find folks who worked on this exceptional, exceptional film. Directed by Mill Melendez. Also directed A Charlie Brown Christmas, A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, Snoopy's Getting Married, Charlie Brown, You Don't Look 40, Charlie Brown, and A Charlie Brown Kwanzaa. Honestly, <laughs> about half of those titles sound very made up. Yeah. <laughs> you Don't Look 40, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Charlie Brown Kwanzaa. I'm guessing that was for the 40th anniversary, yeah. but who knows? <laughs> Um, this one written by Charles M. Schultz, um, a legend, created mm -hmm. the iconic comic strip Peanuts that ran from 1950 to 2000, serving as the sole artist for the entire run. Wild. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, this one's starring a group of kids. 
such as Peter Robbins as Charlie Brown, also played Charlie Brown in A Boy Named Charlie Brown. It was a short summer Charlie Brown. He's your dog, Charlie Brown, <laughs> and a Charlie Brown Christmas. Uh, Christopher Shea as Linus also starred in 17 episodes of Shane, Charlie Brown's All-Stars, and The Boy Who Stole the Elephant. Sally Dreyer as Lucy also starred in A Boy Named Charlie Brown, A Charlie Brown Christmas, You're in Love, Charlie Brown, and did voice work for the video game The Sims. Really? <laughs> Love The Sims. Yeah, I do too. And it, I, I think that makes it even funnier for anyone who has played The Sims um, because the voices are so comical. They're so funny. It's just, it's a made up language. None of it makes yeah. sense. <laughs> it's, it's great. Um, Kathy Steinberg as Sally starred in a Charlie Brown Christmas and you're in love, Charlie Brown. And then Bill Melendez, who was the director, did the voice of Snoopy. Mm. Synopsis courtesy of our dear friends at I am DB. The Peanuts gang celebrates Halloween while Linus waits for the great pumpkin. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep, that synopsis is uh, about as long as the movie. <laughs> and it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, this leads us to one of our favorite segments of the show, Kill Count. Kill Count. The time of the show we count. The kills. Blairsky, do we have a kill count for It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but everyone fucking dies. Everybody dies. Yeah. It's, brutal. it's brutal. It's more, it's gorier than Terrifier 3. Yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to watch. Hard to watch. Uh, R.I.P. Peanuts gang. <laughs> Nobody dies in this movie. No. Although, family friendly, family friendly. Although Snoopy does get shot over war torn France. <laughs> yes. Yes. He could have died. We could have had one casualty. <laughs> yeah. Snoopy. Yeah. There's the a war World scene War sure. One <laughs> fighter pilot that's also a beagle. <laughs> okay, this leads us to one of our favorite segments of the show: likes and dislikes. Likes, dislikes, likes, dislikes, and everything in between. The portion of the show where we chat about what we liked, what we didn't like, and everything in between. Blairsky. I mean, this is, uh, we were chatting about it today, and I would say this is on par as being as much of an iconic ho uh, holiday special as How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yeah, or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Frosty the Snowman. Yeah. This is a huge, huge TV special. I, I love it. I'm going to be biased. I just love it. Um I'm going to start off with one thing I love is the music. Uh, the music is so good. The theme song for Charlie Brown. It's iconic. It's so good, man. It's so good. Yeah, you could just picture them dancing too. <laughs> I love how they so dance. that that is, I think, one of the main issues I have with this movie. Nobody's dancing. There's not a dance scene? I thought there was there's a not a dance scene. scene. No. I don't think there's a dance scene. They're too busy bobbing for apples, oh, yeah. going yeah, door to door, and waiting for the giant pumpkin to deliver them toys. And then there's just the piano scene. Let's see. Which I must say, and apparently the piano scene was cut a lot of the time when it was played on TV because it was maybe a little bit dark. I, I loved it. <laughs> I, <did> I <laughs> loved and it was such like a a story of its own. Snoopy playing the fighter pilot being shot down over France, finding his way back home and then, you know, having an existential crisis. Well, you know, a piano is playing. It's I hate to say it, but it's hysterical. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's great. so good, man. It is so good. Uh, that's something I got to add on to this. But the comedy in this movie is way ahead of its time. It's very funny. The writing is fantastic. And not only that, but with the cast being like 100% kids, the way they deliver the lines, exceptional. It holds up to this day. It, it is does. so good. And there is jokes for absolutely everyone. Yeah, writing really, really strong. A lot of great reoccurring jokes. I mean, the 
Charlie Brown getting the rock instead of candy. <laughs> now everyone's pulling out what they got, and it's Charlie Brown keeps pulling I out a rock. a rock. Yeah. Apparently, so many kids felt bad for Charlie Brown that they started mailing in candy for Charlie Brown. <laughs> it's very, very sweet. Oh, that's very sweet. Yeah, man. I always thought Charlie Brown was kind of the leader of the peanuts. I did too. Um, that's how I always kind of... But man, oh man, they give him a hard time. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody seems to like Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, this movie is everything that is good about the Halloween season. It's so festive. It is it's so, festive. so festive. It's yeah. short, it's sweet, and it is truly for the whole family. Yeah. Pumpkins everywhere. Yeah. Honestly, I, one of my, one of my things I don't like is it's a shame that it's not available to everyone now that it's moved to Apple TV. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a shame that more people can't experience this. All those, this movie, even Charlie Brown's Christmas, uh, classics like The Grinch, all of that should just be publicly available. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Honestly. Absolutely. I'm also ashamed that we never see The Great Pumpkin. I want to see The Great Pumpkin. Me too. I wonder yeah. if it was ever drawn. Yeah, that's a, you know? I, I don't know. I'm sure it had to have been. Yeah. Even if it was like drawn and crumpled up and thrown into the trash, who knows? Yeah. I mean, Could've this, I keep saying movie, I mean, TV special. I'm going to say TV special. This yeah. TV special is perfect. I don't hate anything about this TV special. No. <laughs> no, I have nothing bad to say about it. I love it. Do you have anything else good to say about it in between? Uh, the last thing I have here is just great animation, great music, great vibes. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't have put it better myself. There you go. Way again, way ahead of its time in every aspect. Um, let's move along to one of our favorite segments: lessons we learned from watching 1966's "It's the Great Pumpkin," Charlie Brown. Lessons we learned from watching. Insert title of movie. the segment of the show where we chat about the valuable life lessons we learned from watching said TV special. Blairski, did you learn a single thing from It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown? Yes, a few. Um, Never jump into a pile of leaves (laughs) with a wet wet sucker. Yep. (laughs) Um, Always make sure your signed documents are notarized. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And there are three things to never discuss with other people, religion, <laughs> politics, and the great, and the great pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. They make the lessons very clear. So it's yes. clearly, you know, you know, meant for the children because the lessons to be learned are very, very clear. Yes. Uh, I'm going to add a couple more to that. Never trust anyone holding a football while you're trying to attempt to kick it. Yes. Trying to attempt, <laughs> trying to kick it. Um what else do we have? On Halloween night, the great pumpkin rises out of his pumpkin patch and flies through the air with a bag of toys for all the children. Believe. Believe, yeah. people. Believe in it um, one should always choose a Halloween costume that is in direct contrast to one's personality. <laughs> and then finally, I learned that Snoopy is not only a beagle, but also a World, one, uh, World War I flying ace who survived being shot down over France. There you have it. (laughs) It's quite the feat. Absolutely. Okay, (laughs) let's move along to our next segment, Line of the Night. 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 The segment of the show where we discuss our favorite lines from the movie. They might give us chills. They might give us the giggles. All we know is that they are our favorites. This TV special has a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, it does. It what do does. you got, Blaski? <laughs> got four written down. We've already even talked a little bit about some of them. Uh, first is I Got a Rock. Yeah, <laughs> I got a rock. Said multiple times by Charlie Brown as he just kept getting rocks. Yeah. Um, 
Lucy is getting set for Bob for apples. Ren Schroeder says, yeah, Lucy, you should be good at this. You have the perfect mouth for it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was pretty funny. Absolutely. <laughs> and then finally, Linus Charlie Brown says, you've heard of a woman scorned, haven't you? Charlie Pre Charlie Brown replies, yeah, I guess I have. Then Linus says, well, that's nothing compared to the fury of a woman who has been cheated out of trick-or-treats. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> So I thought that was pretty funny. So good. Uh, I've got a couple here. When Linus tells Charlie Brown he'll stop believing in the Great Pumpkin, when Charlie Brown stops believing in Santa Claus, Charlie Brown responds with, we are obviously separated by denominational differences, <laughs> <laughs> which is great. Again, a lot of this humor is for the adults. I yeah, think it's yeah. yeah. Um, what else do we have here? Sally, after asking if trick-or-treating is legal, she says, I wouldn't want to be accused of taking part in a rumble, <laughs> which I thought was great. And then finally, Sally, after spending the whole night waiting for the great pumpkin, only for it not to show up, she says, you owe me restitution, <laughs> which is great. She feels yeah. cheated out of the Halloween season. I love yeah. it, man. You owe me restitution. I think it's great. <laughs> this leads us to celebrity lookalike time. Celebrity lookalike team. Blairski, I didn't write down the lead up to Celebrity Lookalike Time. I've That's got okay. it here, though. The time of the show where we take a look at the cast and discuss their celebrity doppelgangers. Spoiler alert, it usually comes down to the character's hairstyle, or in Charlie Brown's case, the lack there of Blairski. <laughs> what do you have for Celebrity Lookalike Time? I oh, yeah, man, it's so hard <laughs> with all these characters. Uh, yeah. I got two, both for Charlie Brown himself. Yep. Um, he kind of reminds me of Simon Pegg. Okay. <laughs> and uh, from, you know, Shot of the Dead. Shit like yeah. that. Uh, he also kind of reminded me of uh, Ed Gein. Okay. Serial, <laughs> serial killer Ed Gein. Dear Lord, <laughs> that is quite the jump. You're a killer, Charlie Brown. That's a skin lampshade, Charlie uh, Brown. Yeah. Dear Lord. Wow. <laughs> it, is it the dead eyes? It's the hat and like the... You know how Charlie Brown wears that hat? Does he wear the hat in this one? I can't remember. I think that's the Christmas one. I can't remember. Dear Lord. I was just picturing Charlie Brown, you know? There I mean? you have it, folks. Charlie <laughs> Brown <laughs> is Ed Gein. Notorious serial killer. And Simon Pegg. Dear Lord. And Simon Pegg, of course. <laughs> of course, man, don't oh, forget man. it. I, I've got two here. They're a little bit more abstract. Charlie Brown looks like a pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> which they yeah. use him to model before, you know, going to work on the jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, finally, Charlie Brown looks like a thumb. <laughs> You're a thumb, Charlie <laughs> Brown. Oh, oh yeah. crack me up, man. You're a thumb, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, it's so funny. So, again, Charlie Brown looks like either Ed Gein or a thumb. <laughs> Take your pick. Take your pick, folks. Dear Lord. Okay, uh, this leads us to our final rating. For 1966's, it's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, Blairski. I didn't give you the rating beforehand. No, is it long? It is. Mm. So bear with me, and I can yeah. repeat it afterwards if you like. But we are scoring it out of five canine war heroes going through all the emotions while listening to It's a Long Way to Tipperary out of five. Blairski, <laughs> what are you rating this one? I was just going to get you to read that. Yep. And I'm giving it, going to give it five out of five. Canine war heroes going through all the emotions while listening to It's a Long Way to Tipperary. <laughs> Thank you. Out of five. Excellent. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I am giving it five canine war heroes going through all the emotions while listening to It's a Long Way to Tipperary out of five. This movie is the perfect uh, perfect holiday special. It's perfect. 
What's the perfect holiday special? Oh, this, this one we just watched. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> Dear so they got distracted. They got distracted. You're all over the place. Yeah, you forgot yeah. what movie we watched. Charlie Brown is all of a sudden a serial killer. Blairsky, Blairsky, Blairsky. <laughs> Dear Lord. Um, I'm glad we watched this one. Too, I feel man, like too. it should be mandatory for everyone to watch every year. It, it just brings pure joy and happiness to the world. I love it. I watch it every year. You have to. I've watched Absolutely. it ever since I was a kid. Absolutely. So. It's a classic. It's a classic. Yeah. Um, that's all we have for today. I'm excited <laughs> for the rest of the week. And we only have one more episode, one more proper episode. Yeah, and then a couple bonuses, or at least one. A couple bonus episodes, and then one big one. Really excited to watch the next one. Blair's favorite movie, mm -hmm. favorite horror movie. Not my favorite horror movie, but it's my favorite like Halloween horror movie. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Well, I'm excited to watch it. And until we do, until we're back, this has been Review Set Scare with Jess and Blair. I'm Jess. I'm Blair. Remember to stay scary. And eat every sandwich. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you for listening to Review Set Scare. Make sure you check out our link tree at linktree slash review set scare. That's L I N K T R dot E E slash review set scare which has links to our Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, Twitch, and many other things. If you'd like to email us, you can reach us at reviewsetscare at gmail.com. Thanks for listening, and remember to stay scary and eat every sandwich. <laughs>